Hey guys, Mr. Waltz here. I'm going to show you how to constrain your um, rotor and your bearings together. So when we built this rotor, it's just floating here. It's not attached. So we need to attach it with a joint. And so I'm going to hit J for joint. We're going to go over here. You got position, which is what we normally do. We're going to go to the motion tab. Normally we do a rigid joint, which means there can be no motion between the things that are joined. But we're going to use a revolute joint, which means things can rotate relative to each other. So change it to revolute. Click position again. We're going to go in here on the a body. We're going to use this black edge here on the hole. Then on the bearing, we're going to use this black edge here on the, you get this front face. You don't want the edge of that. And that will constrain those two together. And you can see it's rotating. You could click OK. The uh, the joint shows up as a little flag icon. If you right click on that and do animate model, it'll spin and show you what it's doing. So it's pretty cool. You can make stuff spin. All right. Now we want to put bearings in these holes. You got these other three holes. So what I'm going to do is select in the browser this bearing here, and I'm going to do Control C for copy and Control V for paste. I'm going to drag that up approximately where it should go. You can just get close. It doesn't have to be perfect. Hit OK. I'm going to do another Control V as in Victor. Get my other bearing. And just get it close to where it is. It doesn't have to be in there. And then one more Control V and get my third bearing down there. OK. So these ones, we're just going to do a normal joint on these. So I hit J for joint. I'm going to go to motion. Turn it back to a rigid joint. Go back to position. And then use those same edges. Use the the uh, edge of the hole here, and then the edge of this front face there, and it'll snap that in. It looks like it's breaking your assembly, but when you hit OK, it'll go back to normal. So we're just going to go around and do that same thing. J for joint, edge of the hole, front edge of the bearing. Hit OK. Go over here, J for joint, edge of the hole front edge of the bearing right there and then hit OK. And you'll see it looks pretty good. Everything is assembled. And then the final test, well, two ways you can test it. You could hit escape. You could just try to spin it. Just grab it and turn it. OK, if it does that, you're good. You can grab the bearings um, and put it back to position. Hit control Z to go back in time. And then also you could right click on this flag again, right click animate model and you'll see they all spin. So if it does that, then you know your your constraints, your joints are all good. You can hit escape. Uh, I'm going to hit save and then go on to the next video. Good luck.